Hi guys, and welcome to your Wednesday lesson for Letters and Sounds. Thank you for coming back. I hope you are ready. You should have with you your whiteboard and your pen. As always, remember to keep them in a tidy pile so that you're not fiddling with them. For our learning today, we are going to need to make sure that we are doing good sitting. So wherever you're sitting, make sure you're comfortable and that you can do your writing really nicely from where you are and that you can hear what we're saying and you can see the screen really well. You need to make sure that you are being quiet. That's so you can listen to everything that's happening and you're not getting distracted. Make sure you're doing your good looking. We're looking at you. And always make sure you're doing your good listening. So let's switch our listening ears on. We're going to start with our sounds today. So these are all of our phase three sounds. We're going to go through every single one with the action. So get yourselves ready. Give yourself a little shake. Get your voices ready. Oh, and here we go. Starting with... J, 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 J. Now we've got... yourselves a big thumbs up that was fantastic let's move on we have got a game get your magic pointing fingers out and get ready to point to be something that starts with these sounds first sound we're going to look at is t -t 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 -t. can you see anything in your room that starts with a t -t -t -t? if you can't i know something i'm going to give you a clue in five seconds if you've already found something well done, I'm going to tell you toe. Well done. Next one we're going to choose is you might be able to find something that starts with a in your room. I'm going to give you five seconds. I'm going to join in. Four hair. Next one is. I look for something that starts with that. Anything in your room? Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. Let's give you five seconds more. <gasps> Finger! Next is something that starts with A. Something in your room. Keep looking. Five seconds more. Sofa, maybe? Or skirt? And last, last one. This one starts with mmm. Have a look for something that starts with a mmm. In your room. Five seconds. Four. One. Hang on. What's that on your face? Right in the middle. This <gasps> nose. Well done, everybody. Good joining in. Now we're going to have a look at the sounds that we are looking at today. Can you tell your grown-up what this sound is 
with the action. Off you go. It is ooh, 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 ooh. Now this is a very interesting sound because not only does it have a short sound, uh, it also has a long sound, ooh. So if you are a bit worried that you might have the wrong one, you just need to put it into a word and see if it works. Like for instance, if I was to write book, I could go b, ook, but then that says book. Does that sound right to you? No, it's book, so it's the uh sound. B, uk, book. Our next sound we're going to have a look at is ah, ah. I like R because it can give it a rhyme, goes R, R, start the car. So we can put it into the word car. We can go K, R, car. Let's do dots and dashes for car. What do I put underneath the curly K? Dot, well done. What do I put underneath the R? Dash, excellent, well done. I would like you to stop the video and write car on your whiteboards with your dots and dashes. Ready, steady, go. Did you manage to get your words done? Fantastic, well done guys. Let's go on to the next one. This last sound is oh, oh. That one goes with E, so we can go E, or E, or. I wonder what animal makes that noise. So, or. What word can we put or into? Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Something you might be able to make at home if you've got some blankets and some cushions. This is really good fun. You could make a. Or. Let's do dots and dashes for fort. Here we go. Dot, dash, dot. Excellent. Well done, everybody. Now, here is your challenge. I am going to tell you one of those sounds and you need to write it on your whiteboard. So I'm going to tell you a sound. You need to choose which one you think it is. Write it on your whiteboard and then show it to your grown up. Let's see if we can do this. Here we go. The sound you're going to write is ah. Off you go. You've got ten seconds. Three, two, one. Let's see your boards. Did you get it right? Fantastic. Well done, everybody. R is a A and a R. Ah, good job. Oh gosh, are you ready? Make sure anything in your hands is put down because now we need to get our hands, shake them out, get them warmed up, put them up to the sky, put them over here, put them over here, ready for our common exception words. I am going to put a dot underneath the common exception word and then we're going to say what it is and do the actions. Make sure you're joining in at home. This is how you learn them. Are you ready? Are you steady? Here we go. He, point to a boy. She, point to a girl. We. Me. Be, was, my, you, her, they, are, said, have, like, so, do some come were well done good joining in everyone now there are three words at the bottom that i want you to try on your own ready here we go everyone tell me what this common exception word is 
It's me. Well done. Everyone tell me this common exception word. It's was. Excellent. And tell me this common exception word. It's like. Good job. Here we go. Are you ready for a super, super, super quick read? You've got to get yourselves ready by shake your hands out, shake your shoulders out, get yourself all limbered up. Let's do a big old wobble all the way from the top to the bottom. You can stand up if you want. Are you ready? Here we go. And one more time. And sit down and get yourself ready. Here we go. And and. Him, him, it's his. N ot not. G ot got. Up up. M a m mum. B at but. P ot put. W a o will. F at that. F a n then. Then, what went? It, it, and from. Well done, guys. That was good. Okay, time for a little game now. On your whiteboards, you are going to draw a line because we write on the line every time. And on that line, you are going to write yes on one side of your board and no on the other side of your board. Yes and no. Here we go. Everybody got their board ready? Remember, you can pause the video if you need a bit more time. But now that we're ready, we're going to give it a go. Now, some of these words are red. Can you tell me why they're red? They're common exception words. Some of these words could have been green. Can you see any green words? No. That means there are no high frequency words. Let's have a go at the red words first. Have. You. This one is by, and this one is a. Now, we're going to have a go at reading some of the words that are not common exception words. We've got dots and dashes on them, so we can see where our sounds are. That will make it easier for us to blend it together. Let's have a go at this one first. E -v -e ever. S -e -m. T R A O Trail L F T Left and last word S N A O Snail. Hmm, this is an interesting sentence. Let's see what it says. Now we're going to fluency read it. So it's going to be my turn. Then we'll do it together. Your turn, okay? My turn. Have you ever seen a trail left by a snail? Let's do that together. Have you ever seen a trail left by a snail? Now it's your turn. It's show me on your boards. Is your answer a yes or is your answer a no? What do you think? Show your boards, hold it up, let's have a look. <gasps> I do you know what I think I have seen a trail left by a snail, maybe once. It's like silvery path on the road. It's very interesting. Well done guys, that was really good learning. Let's go on to our last thing today. 
and that is to write a sentence for our picture. Now to help us today, I have put our sounds of the day on the side so that if you need to use those in one of your words, you've got them right there so you know how to use them. Let's have a look at the picture. Can you tell your grown-up what you can see in that picture? Now can you tell me the same thing? A spoon and a fork. Very good. So we're going to write a sentence. If you want to write your own sentence, you can go ahead and write now and you can write a sentence about a spoon and a fork. If you would like to have a little help and we do it together, then we're going to have a think about what our sentence is going to be. Spoon and a fork. What colour are they? They're pink. So we're going to write a sentence about the spoon and the fork being pink. The spoon and the fork are pink. Let's do that one. I'm going to get my pen and I'm going to start on this side of the line. Make sure when you do your writing you've already drawn your lines on your whiteboard ready. And keep your writing small, otherwise you're going to run out of room. Today I've got two lines, so let's draw two lines on your whiteboard. Everyone get ready here. Okay, holding your pen, ready for writing. Here we go. First word, the. It's a common exception word, but we know how to spell the. T. F. And I've got a capital letter at the start. The. Fork, 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 fork. I'm going to have a look for the or sound. There it is. So I need a or and a kiki. The fork. Next word is and. That's a high frequency word, so we know that one really well. And. The fork and spoon. Let's do robot arms for spoon. Starts with a and then I think I can hear a spoon. The fork and spoon are. Ah, now that's a common exception word. It starts with the sound R, ah, but it has an F at the end. Ah, the food and sport, the, the fork and spoon are ah, pink. Let's sound out the word pink. P I N K pink. And a full stop at the end. Well done, guys. Good writing. Let's read our sentence just to make sure we've got it all right. The fork and spoon are pink. <gasps> I've just seen something that I've forgotten to do. I did not put a dot over my eye. That's better. Now, for an extra challenge, you can put your dots and dashes underneath your sentence and then go and show it to your grown-ups. They'll be so proud of you. Well done for doing some fantastic learning today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye!